When you're talking about the blues, the odds are that the name B.B. King will find its way into the conversation, because to much of the music-loving world, B.B. King is the blues. Born on a plantation in the Mississippi Delta, he started out singing with gospel groups, then worked his way up the river to Memphis, where he earned a reputation as a blues-shouting guitarist with the Beale Streeters. The group also included a young Bobby Blue Bland and Johnny Ace, both blues pioneers in their own rights. I still think Memphis is the capital of the blues, if you will. Uh, Bill Street still is, uh, to me, uh, that monumental street that represents blues for people all around the world, if you will. I know that B.B. is not your real name. Where did you get that name? My name is Riley B. King. Uh, the B.B. came about, I was a disc jockey in Memphis, Tennessee, at a radio station called WDIA. And they used to call me the Bill Street Blues Boy, and then they would say the boy from Bill Street. So people that would write me most times, meaning Blues Boy, would just abbreviate B.B., Blues Boy. And I like that, so here I am today, B.B. Now, coming from Memphis, Tennessee, uh, you, in the late 40s, you must have had uh, contact with a lot of the prominent blues players and singers. Uh, who were some of your uh, primary influences? All of my idols was not in Memphis. I had, believe it or not, a Texan. One of the Texans was one of my idols called Lemon Jefferson. I was told that he was bl uh, born blind, and everybody called him Blind Lemon. And that was one of my idols, Blind Lemon. And then another Texan, believe it or not, T-Bone Walker, which was the guy that made me uh, really declare that if anything was possible, I would try to play guitar simply because of him. Then another guy called Lonnie Johnson was my idol. Um, I'd like to mention the fact that both Lonnie Johnson and Blind Lemon both played acoustic guitars in the early years uh, and sang blues, but T-Bone Walker was that contemporary person, if you will, that played single string uh, uh, blues on electric guitar. And man, if heaven is, 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 is any sweeter, I really want to go. <laughs> Although King was proving himself very popular on stage, he was given the opportunity to increase his audience on a Memphis radio station. I first started out, yeah, just me and the guitar, just me and the guitar, and uh, then I started a trio. And I would do 10 minutes a day, and I got popular, so they started to give me 15 minutes a day. Then after that, one of the disc jockeys left, and so they asked me to well, they started trying to train me to be a disc jockey, so I stayed there from 49 to about 54, I think. Now, Lucille is your guitar. Uh, is, I know Gibson makes, makes the guitar for you. Is this the original Lucille, or are there more than one? Uh, no, no, no. This is Lucille the 15th. Is that right? Yeah. Sort of like Lassie the 15th? Uh, yes, the yes, you, you, you said it. I have two. Now, I, I shouldn't mention the fact, but I do have two of that 15th. I have the 14th and the 15th left. Yeah. I've been ripped off a lot of them, and I've given a couple of them away. And uh, uh, you really don't wear them out, but uh, they wear me out. Based on what I saw in his show, I would say that B.B. King is a long way from being worn out. Next week, we'll talk with him about more recent endeavors and find out what the future has in store for this dynamic gentleman of the blues. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. B. B.